So with AI image generation now accessible to everyone, the login isn't as it was in the early days, although still images continue to make strides with high quality rendering featuring unprecedented details and creative control. And today we're seeing a new form of content creation, generation and consumption as the folks at RunML are taking things to the next level with image to video. Of course we did see their previous style transfer which was great, video to video was also awesome and we did cover a video about this. And with this new feature, which is now taking over the internet just after a few hours of release, things are looking interesting. And of course, as interesting as this sounds, this might simply change the way content creators make images and create motion pictures. And for those who like to explore this, you can simply go over to RunML and start playing with it. And before we get started, we need to generate an image. So we're going to go over to mid journey and simply enter a prompt. So in this case, we do have a simple prompt. We're going to press enter and get this to generate. So at this point, we now have this image generated and I think um, happy with number three. So let's go ahead and upscale number three, click on this button and get that upscaled. And we're simply going to save this out. Now, once we have this saved out, we can now go over to run ML. So if you do have an account with RunML, then you can log in. But if you don't have one, then you might need to sign up to get one. And once you log in, you can come through and simply select the Gen 2 text to image. Now, once you click on Gen 2 text to image, instead of entering a prompt, you can now add images. So if you click on this button, you can go ahead and find images. We already did one before, so I'm just going to go ahead, click, drag and drop that image right here and allow this to load. So once this loads, we can hit the generate button without adding a prompt and give this a couple of seconds to process. So once the processing is done, if you press the playback, you now see that we have an animation. This looks really, really cool. Now to think about it, that you just simply used an image and generate this in little to no time is just absolutely brilliant. So this is amazing. You can also see a couple of other things that we've done. Like in this case, we do have a very interesting miniature and you can see that the ferris wheel is actually moving. One thing to keep in mind is this currently prompts only four seconds of video and you can do some extensive stuff with it. At this point, if you'd like to download this, you can right click, save video as to download, or you can hit on this button right here to download it. Previously with Gen 2, we only had camera movement, but right now you can see that the image responds and also we have that beautiful camera movement attached to it. And for use case, this can be used for montages and for interesting videos just to show some form of motion. This is still the very early days of this and it can only get better. Things are getting interesting and I'm here for it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.